know what songs we're gonna play, so I might just uh, indicate a few of them. That was uh, You Stepped Out of the Dream, and now we're going to do another standard chord, Will You Still Be Mine? <laughs>
I thought uh, I would just introduce the guys briefly and uh, make a big to do about it. The person who uh, procured the gig for us deserves, I guess, to be mentioned first. Mom, use, it, use the microphone. You can't hear me? No. Okay. Oh, yeah. uh, is this any better? Yes. Okay, good. Yeah, I'll leave for it. Uh, we have uh, on drums a uh, fellow who is uh, well known, especially in this northwestern Connecticut area, for his work on percussion and drums, plays a lot of shows, plays a lot of jazz gigs. And our leader at this particular job is Roger Post on drums. <laughs> and a fellow that I play with uh, very frequently. Uh, he gets all around Connecticut and all other places, New York State and beyond sometimes. And he's played with a lot of good people and well-known jazz people on piano, David Childs. <laughs> Thank you. Now, on bass, we have a legendary bass player who's uh, played with very good Duke Ellington and Jerry Mulligan a great deal over the years at the half note. In fact, I remember hearing that band down there, and Bill had to be there at the time. It was just quite a, quite a few years ago, though, that they have no. That was a real treat. And so on bass, we are glad to have here today, Bill Crow. <laughs> my, my name is Bob Crow, but I'm happy to be here with all these other fellows. Thank you.
Thank you.
very much, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a pleasure being here for you today. And I just wanted to introduce the fellows once more in, in hopes that uh, the name will ring a bell in the future. It's Roger Post on the drums. Me. And uh, David Childs on the keyboard. And our good friend Bill Crow on bass. It's been a pleasure to be here and hope you can come back and see you soon. Bye.